Hi! Today, I am going to explain you how my day at the Montreal Museum of Fine Arts was. First of all, I went to the museum with my mother because as soon as I told her that I had to spend a day at the museum for an English final project, she automatically felt really interested going with me. So, we went to the Montreal Museum of Fine Arts, located on 1380 Sherbrooke Street West. We decided to spend the whole Saturday 23rd afternoon in exploring and understanding abstract arts. My mother and I visited the Egyptian Mummies exhibition and the Peace Pavilion, but we enjoyed the last one better. So, we spent more time appreciating abstract arts just to discover the message behind every artwork. I chose this museum in particular because my mother and I, we love history and we really enjoy learning new things. We think that it's very important to reward ourselves by going to the museum because it is a privilege to see artworks. Teenagers who are curious and have a minimum of interest in arts should visit the Peace Pavilion's exhibit at the Montreal Museum of Fine Arts because artworks really are inspiring and stunning. The first painting name is The Street Kid and the author's name is Fernand Pelez. This piece of art was created in 1880 and the technique used is oil on canvas, which makes it possible to obtain a texture effect. On canvas, we see a poor little boy wearing torn and dirty clothes, smoking cigarettes on the street. The kid is not wearing shoes at all and his foots are dirty. This suggests that he doesn't have money to wear new clothes. In fact, the child is delivered to himself because he is outside playing with cigarettes he probably stole to his parents or someone else. When I first saw this painting, I automatically felt angry because he is too young to smoke cigarettes and he should be outside playing with his new friends or classmates, not smoking these toxic products. I felt angry because I don't want him to live a childhood like this. This painting makes me think that poverty like this is lived by many children around the world. I also felt pity for this young boy because he is living in poor conditions. I can tell how hard is his life despite the dirty clothes he is wearing and the fact that he is alone and smoking at a young age. Furthermore, this young boy is a portrait of the 19th century because human poverty is a reality in Paris and everywhere around the world. I feel the pain of the boy when I look at this painting because he shouldn't be smoking. He is so pure and innocent. He should be with his friends or at school. The second piece of heart is a sculpture called Richard Wagner by Boleslas Biegas. This artwork was created in 1904 and the material used is bronze. On the sculpture, we see a man or somebody playing music with a harp. We can also see three disturbed faces at the bottom left and six happy faces on the top right of the figure. Besides that, the sculpture is showing the power of music. In fact, we can feel how much the musician feels liberated by playing music. He feels free to express his emotions in music. I felt that the musician merges with the harp because he turns his bad emotions into powerful ones because of music. In other words, music makes the words understandable. In addition, when I first saw the sculpture, I felt love because I understand that doing something you love can change your state of mind, like music in this case. The sculpture is impressive because it is showing many emotions as much as torment of the soul and the moments of happiness. The sculpture symbolizes the fact that the soul becomes pure with the help of music. The last piece of heart is called The Morning Wash or The Children's Home by Théodule Ribot. This painting was created in 1863 and the technique used was oil on canvas. On the painting, we can see six little girls washing their hands doing their morning activities. The atmosphere seems pretty calm, but a little bit severe because of the use of dark colors on the painting. The girls look very sad because they are all wearing the same clothes and they have no emotions on their faces. Obviously, 
children are being watched by the mistress of the orphanage. Maybe that is the reason why they look so sad and bored. In addition to this, I felt pity for the orphans because they don't have no family to spend moments of happiness with. I also felt sad because they seem to have nothing more to do than doing their morning washes, but they are children so they should be playing and living their childhood. In conclusion, it was a beautiful day because I had the chance to share many thoughts with my mother about artworks. I also learned that there is always a hidden message behind every piece of art. My day at the museum was a great experience fulfilled with discoveries. Besides that, it was really rewarding because I had the chance to understand the reality of each period. Because art really is a reflection of the reality. You should take a look at the Montreal Museum of Fine Arts because the Peace Pavilion is worth it. In the Peace Pavilion, artworks are really stunning and impressive. Try to spend a whole day at the museum of your choice and you'll see how impressive artworks are. You should also read the description of the piece of art so you'll understand better the reality at this time. Discovering arts and what's on others' mind helps create links with an unknown form of beauty called abstract arts.